What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Your boy Mike D here in my cichlid hut, and these are some of my cichlids, man. Ah, it's been about I don't know, I guess about a week since I uploaded the video. Uh, been a long week at work, went out of town in Houston to see family members for Thanksgiving. Finally back. Um, then I, I started to feel like I was getting a little cold, so excuse my voice, <laughs> but I am feeling okay. But enough of me, let's get to the fish. You guys are looking at my Meso Harris tank as I stated a, a, a second ago. And if you guys follow my channel on um, Sickly Hut on Facebook and on YouTube, you guys have seen this tank before. So in this tank, I have some F1 Real Nereno Colombian Feste. And this is the dominant female we're looking at back here behind this pot. She kind of ran to the back back there. And that's the dominant male down there in that little tube. There he is, cut. He's trying to get a good, um, excuse the glass too, guys. I haven't wiped this acrylic glass in. It's been a while since I cleaned it. I need to wipe it off. That's another male right there. One of the subdominant males, another female right here. As you can see, look at the different colors in those two females. The one to the right is barred. The one here with them, you guys see what I'm talking about. This female here, she's um, not displaying her colors like the female here because she is the dominant female and that's the dominant male. So, But they're big enough where you can tell, like this one right here is another female. Actually, they're both, a, this is another female for sure. So I think it's about three females I have in here, maybe like four or five males, which is great. Uh, like I stated, they're F1. We're on the Randall Colombian Fest Day. And I also have some wild caught atros right here. You see all that orange in that fish's belly? That's um, nine times out of 10, that's a female. But it can get tricky when, you go, when you're trying to sex those fish with the colors because the males do get a little orange on them too. But it's not nearly as, as vibrant on the underbody of this fish. The females get a lot of orange in their under their bellies. The pectoral fans are a lot oranger than um, the males. So this right here, I'm, I'm definitely banking in this. See, see all the orange on that fish, like, like the, the female convict gets on the belly. She has a lot of orange spots on her belly. And also her fans are highlighted in orange. As you guys can see, I'll try to get it to focus for, uh, for a second, but see all that orange in that fish? All of the spangles on, the orange spangles on her belly. They're faint, but you definitely can see them there. And if you look at this one right here, you see orange, but there's no orange on that fish's body anywhere. It's kind of dark brown, black spangles, but no, no orange. Very, um, the orange on this fish is very, very faint on the uh, fins. There's no orange on that fish. But so I'm, I'm, I'm nine times out of 10, this is a male. And this bigger one with the orange under the belly, belly, excuse me, is most likely the female. See how much more bright she is than this one? I mean, this one is illuminating over here. And she has a lot of orange on the belly. But anyway, that's a way that you can sex the atros. Um, it's quite difficult until it gets to about five inches. You can't really tell. It's kind of hard, but those fish are about five, five and a half inches. So, and the feste are doing great. You guys know the females, you know, they get the, the, the black box in the top of the dorsal fin. <coughs> Excuse me. And they're always a little bit more striped up than the males. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm so sorry, man. Uh, I need to give me some water, but excuse me, I apologize for that. And I have the, the wild caught your fams in here also, and they're right there. Doing nice. Um, I'm not as good at sexing as your fams as I am the other fish, but uh, I'm getting there. 
or I'll let them get a little bit bigger. And then I'll try to um, get a little bit more idea of male and females. But the Feste and the Atros, I kind of got those kind of squared away. But the female right here. This is just gorgeous, man. She gets a lot more orange, but no bright, bright, bright color than that. Usually when I cut the light on, they do that for a while, but she'll color back up. Another beautiful female right here. Pretty sure if I put her in her own tank and remove the dominant female out of this tank, that she'll bar up and color up. This is pretty as the other one. Have a couple of tiger striped silver dollars in there with these fish. I'll, I'll put them inside here because I want to get a little size on them. But I'm gonna be messing around in the fish room today I, in the hut. I got a lot of stuff I have to do. I'm gonna have to run out a little, do a couple errands, but I will be changing water making videos. So, um, you guys just look out for the videos. I might drop a couple of them today, you know. I'm kind of off, it's, it's gonna rain tonight, tomorrow, the next day. Just chill around the sickle hut and change water and um, make videos of these fish, man. Kind of catch up a little bit. So y'all stay tuned because have a lot of um, stuff going on. I want to share with you guys. Have a raffle going on. Um, so look out for the next video for that because I'm going to bring in the raffle. Talk about the raffle. And let you guys know what you need to enter the raffle. And I'm going to be giving away... Some fish. Um, I give all the details about the raffle, how to enter, um, the cost, all that stuff um, on the next video. So you guys be looking out for that. But anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here, man. 240 gallon in the critic tank, my Meso Harris tank. Um, any comments, questions, concerns, you always could leave a comment. I just ask that everybody be respectful because uh, you never know who, who's watching these videos. I have a lot of kids that are in the hobby. I actually have a nephew who um, loves the hobby now. He's um, asked for his first tank. So we're going to try to get that taken care of for him. And, you know, kids watch this stuff. So, man, be respectful and, you know, drop it in the comment section. Email me. You always email me um, if you have any questions or concerns, too. Um, so at, at sicklyhut2023 at gmail.com. sicklyhut2023 at gmail.com. But I'll catch y'all on the next video, which y'all know will be coming real soon. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, really helps the channel out. Really helps the hobby grow so um, we can get these videos out to people, give them information, and let them know that there are people out here that's willing to help them and walk them through um, this aquarium life because it, it can get hectic sometimes. Um, you know, fish do get sick. Um, people do suffer with aggression with fish. Um, sometimes it's un uncontrollable or can't be controlled, but they just don't have the knowledge on what to do to um, simmer stuff down. You know, sometimes people get rid of fish because they feel like, you know, the fish, you know, can't, you know, be compatible with anything else. And sometimes it's other options for that. Um, but a lot of people just don't know, you know, that's why I want to, you know, be one of the people to be here and give my advice on stuff like that because, you know, I've been in a hobby for a long time, you know, um, I guess over, I guess I can say over 20 years now, you know. When I was young, I was in it for a while when I was in school. Got out of it for a little while, life, you know, stuff like that. And then I got back into it. But my, the knowledge that I have, you know, I just want to share what I know to people and, and, and continue to learn from other people more knowledge so I can only take and return to that, that knowledge to somebody else, you know. So um, God bless everybody, man. Keep the hobby strong. Be kind to others. Treat people the way you want to be treated, man. The boy Mike D, you're my sickle hut. These are some of my beautiful, beautiful Meso Harris fish. And I'll check you guys out on the next video. Peace.